Namaste everyone. Welcome to Botsphere's YouTube channel. So in today's yoga tutorial, we are going to practice a quick yoga routine that you all can do whenever you are waking up early in the morning. So these are a couple of yoga poses and yoga stretches that you can do to actually feel so good within you. So let's all get started now. So in the sitting position itself, let's reverse the palms on our thighs. And let's start with the neck movement up and down. Very easy and gentle movement of the neck. So early in the morning, it's always good to open up. Just feel the stretch around the neck, a little bit around the shoulders also. And let's come back to the center and let's place a right palm on the left side of our skull and very gently you may drop the head towards the right side and just feel the opening of the muscles on the left side of the neck and let's hold over here and let's all switch so very light gentle pressure And let's come back to the center and let's start with the left and right movement of the neck. So it's a quick routine that we all can practice. And let's come back once again and let's start with the rotations. So you have to continue breathing normally. Yeah. And that's all reverse going from left to right. And once again, let's all relax and let's come in the tabletop position. So we are on all fours now. And in this position itself, Let's start looking towards our feet. So you have to look back. So what we are doing is we are just working on our neck along with the spine. So let your spine curve as you look back. It's a very simple movement but very effective for opening up the spinal curvature. And let's come back to the center and let's start moving our spine up and down. Let your thoracic go towards the ceiling and let it get pushed towards the floor. And once again, let's come back and you may stretch both the arms in front of you now to go in the Anahatasana or the melting heart. If you want, you can rest your forehead on the floor or if that is very uncomfortable, what you can do is you can fold your arms also and you can rest your forehead over the forearms, even that is completely fine. Just make sure that your spine is getting pushed towards the floor. So it should not look like this, but try to push it down towards the mat. And very gently, let's all inhale to lift the body up and let's bring our right foot outside the right palm and you may lift your right arm up towards the ceiling and let's all look up towards the right palm so while you are looking up towards the right palm you have to make sure that your pelvic region is getting pushed towards the floor so if it is in this position 
try to apply very gentle pressure on the pelvic region, on your glutes, on your lower back and push them down towards the mat. It's amazing to open up the pelvic region along with the chest, along with the shoulders. So those are the target areas. And from here itself, you may very gently grab the back foot using the right palm. And you can simply look back towards the left foot. Now, um, if you are finding it very difficult to actually hold on to the left foot, you can simply bend the knee also. You can rest your forearm on the right thigh, but you can bend the knee. Even that is completely fine. If you want to make use of a yoga strap, excellent, not a problem. And if you want to make it a little more intense, so the advanced version is when you are applying the pressure to pull the foot towards your left hip. So you are bringing the heel in contact with the left hip. So whatever makes you feel comfortable, whatever makes you feel good, you have to do that. And very gently you may release, place your right palm on the floor. And let's all look in front. Just feel the opening of the pelvic region, opening up your inner thigh muscles. And very gently tuck in your back toes and let's take our right leg back into the mountain. Try to rest your heels onto the floor as you push the spine towards the mat. And very gently you may bring the left foot outside the left palm. You may rest the back knee onto the floor. And in this position itself, you may lift the left arm up towards the ceiling. Let's turn our head to look up towards our left palm. And very gently you may grab your right foot using the left palm. And let's all turn from the left side to look back towards the right foot. So it's amazing for the back quadricep also. The frontal part of the back thigh is also getting stretched. And very gently you may release the back foot or the ankle. Place the left palm on the floor and let's all look in front. And very gently tuck in your back toes, bring the right foot in front. You can adjust your body so that your feet comes together and place your palms over the triceps. And let's start swinging our body from left to right, right to left. Continue stretching the entire spine and the hamstrings. And very gently rest your palms on the floor to take your body back into the mountain.
And very gently, you may bring your knees onto the floor as you stretch your arms in the child's pose. And from here itself, you may lift the body up now to come in Vajrasana. I'll demonstrate like this now. And in this position itself, rest your right palm over the left thigh as you twist from the left side. And very gently, you may switch towards the opposite side, towards the right side. And very gently, you may come back to the center. So, these were a couple of yoga poses and a couple of yoga stretches that you all can do every single day. Whenever you wake up, just place your yoga mat and you can practice this tutorial with us. So, I really hope that you liked today's tutorial. And please don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any queries, any request when it comes to the tutorials, you can drop your comments in the comment section below and we'll be super, super happy to make a tutorial right for you. So we'll see you all in the next session. Till then, keep smiling, have a very beautiful day and just take care everyone. Bye. Namaste. Namaste.